there's been a huge decline in mental health around the world, which is why we're so committed to creating more content than we ever have. Thanks for being a part of our journey. The habits you have, good and bad, are mostly subconscious. It's not something you often give much thought to, but these little things have been dropping hints about your personality all along. So, are you curious about what links your personality and your habits? Let's look at seven habits that reveal your true personality. Number one, clothing preference. Do you like to wear casual clothes or do you prefer professional attire? A study by Erickson and Sergey revealed that formal and business-like attire is used by career-oriented individuals to reinforce self-image. A study from the University of Manchester found that those who prefer to wear casual style clothes have low conforming attitudes as they want to enhance their sense of freedom. Meanwhile, socially conscientious individuals prefer evening style outfits. Those with more conventional personality types prefer to wear formal clothes with a lack of color or design. Number two, shopping habits. A new pair of shoes from your favorite brand has just hit the shelves. Would you prefer to buy them online or do you go to the physical store? A study conducted by Breziel and Luick comparing offline and online shopping behavior showed that more extroverted individuals spend the most time and money at the mall and the least time online. A different study demonstrated that those who buy impulsively tend to have a higher tendency to experience psychological distress. This might be due to their belief that shopping can temporarily alleviate mental distress. Number three, daily routines. Did you know even your mundane everyday to-do list can reveal a lot about your personality? A study by Chapman and Goldberg found the degree of agreeableness in individuals can be revealed by the kind of chores they do. For those higher up on the scale of agreeableness, you spend more time doing domestic chores, such as ironing or washing the dishes. You are also highly motivated to keep other people happy. In addition, you are more likely to sing while in the shower or in the car. Extroverted individuals are found to spend their time planning parties or talking on the phone, making plans for the next adventure. Number four, professional stress. How would you describe yourself when you're faced with workplace stressors? Are you more prone to think of it as a challenge or do you tend to view it from a negative lens? A study by Shen and Spector demonstrated that personality is associated with perceptions of the work environment. For example, extreme conscientiousness or someone who is anxious about the tiniest of tiny details is more inclined to perceive the work environment as stressful. Number five, the way you walk. Have you ever sat on a bench and observed the myriad of ways that people walk? Some walk with heavy stamping, some with strong lunging steps, or some walk slowly with soft steps. A study published in the Journal of Nonverbal Behavior found that individuals with high physical aggression possessed greater relative movement between the upper and lower body. In other words, an aggressive walk is characterized by exaggerated body motion. Apart from that, Cesario and McDonald reported that extroverted personalities are more likely to walk with confidence. On the other hand, you're more likely to be introverted if you walk slowly with soft steps. Number six, hobbies. Do you spend your free time lost in fictional worlds or do you spend your time sweating it out on the tennis court? Have you ever wondered why you prefer to participate in certain activities during your leisure time? And what does it say about your personality? A study by Eisnick, Niaz, and Cox demonstrated that extrovert people are more likely to spend their free time in sporting activities. Moreover, a study by Wilkinson and Hansen reported that individuals who are more open to experiences were more involved in cultural aesthetic leisure, such as cultural arts, literature, and writing. And number seven, written words. Do you tend to write in large or small letters? Is the dot on your eyes placed high or low? Psst, it's okay if they were tiny hearts instead of dots. According to a theory by K. Amend and others, the word slant, writing pressure, connecting strokes, and spaces between lines can convey specific characteristics of the writers. If you write in a vertical slant, you are someone who finds it easy to control your emotions while writing with a moderate left slant may show you find it hard to express your emotions. Those who want to be in permanent control and have low self-esteem write in an extreme left slant. As for those who can easily verbalize their emotions and opinions, they tend to write in a moderate left slant. Finally, individuals who are impulsive and lack self-control write in an extreme right slant. Contrary to popular belief, your personality is not set in stone by 30. It was recently discovered that your personality is quite malleable as you grow older. Based on a study on personality, there's roughly a 25% chance that your personality traits will change over time. 
you can always acquire new habits to be the best version of yourself. So, did this list help shed some light on habits that give away your personality type? Do you know any other habits that can reveal personality? Feel free to leave a comment with your experience, feedback, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with others too. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit that notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching.